the time right now is 942. Welcome back. You know, I've been using the word tropical in my forecast a lot lately, and that's because it's been so humid outside. But if you're thinking a different kind of tropical, maybe a tropical getaway this time of year, well, you don't have to get away. You can bring a taste of that to your own garden or even into your home. And we've got Kara Ziegler joining us here this morning from Pike Nurseries with some really great ways to do that. Good morning, Kara. Good morning. This is a very simple way, the simplest way I can think of to bring the tropics to you. Right? Yes, and we've got lots of fun things that you can do to decorate your porch or your patio. Okay, so where do we start? All right, first of all, I brought bougainvillea. If you've got a really dry, sunny spot, this is for you. And it's really neat because it comes in fuchsias, oranges, whites, and just like poinsettias, the color in the flowers is actually the brax. The true flowers are actually very small. Okay, and yeah, the colors are absolutely beautiful. Very vibrant. Mm -hmm. Next, we have hibiscus moving over That's here. Yes, and they come in every color imaginable. They're great because they attract hummingbirds and butterflies, and they can come in tree form, so they'd be good in a pot. They come in bush form, and they're just very vibrant and pretty all summer long. That's a great bonus to be able to attract hummingbirds and yes. butterflies too. Yeah. Next we have Mandevilla and Mandevilla comes in pinks, reds and whites and it's great because it climbs up a trellis so if you have a trellis or a trellis in a pot that you need something to climb quickly on this is perfect and once again tra attracts hummingbirds and butterflies. Okay very nice. Are there two different types planted? Oh no those are the leaves from this one. I saw pink and white in the same same spot there but those are the same plants. Those are the same plant Beautiful. just different colors. Okay. Very and nice. then if you don't have a lot of light ferns are also a really nice option for your screened in porch, your patio. They have a lot of texture, so I think they're fun to mix with the blooming tropicals. And this one, for instance, has this chartreuse color, which is a good accent against something else. Okay, and if you want to think about not only outdoors, but maybe bringing something indoors too, what can we use? Yes. Orchids are great to have indoors to give you vibrant color and a tropical look. I like to pair them with bromeliads, which we have here, mm -hmm. and you could even throw a fern in there with it and have a very tropical arrangement for your table or wherever you need it. Mm -hmm. Palms are another great option for a bright area inside your house. That really gives you that tropical look mm -hmm. without having to put it outside. Very nice. Now, once you've chosen some, whether for indoors or out, what are the best ways to take care of them? Well, first of all, tropicals, like as as you said, the tropical weather, they like lots of water. So you want to make sure you're giving them very good, consistent watering. Next, they're very heavy feeders. So I would make sure you get a fertilizer specifically for hibiscus, palms, and tropicals. And you're going to want to feed them every month to make sure they bloom nicely for you all season. Okay, so we've got the taste of the tropics. The only thing we're missing right now is like the ocean breeze. That's right. We have it all together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what do you have going on at Pike Nursery this weekend? So we have our customer appreciation event tomorrow. We've got hot dogs, Cokes, chips from 11 to 1, and we have 20% off store-wide. So come on down because we have all of this all right. in the store. Fantastic. Get your tropics in your own home. All right. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. At least I'll send it over to you. Mm -hmm.